You're uh, dealing with a very busy marketplace at the moment, as are many other traders out there, but in particular in the FX space. Are there any clear trades, given the uncertainty that we're facing at the moment on a numerous, on, on numerous rather, uh, levels? No, I, th I think the only real clear trade is continued volatility at the moment. We're just seeing real whipsaw moves in, across the currencies, and especially in those safe haven currencies, um, yen, Swissy, and, and, and across into the metals as well. Gold's been flying around on, on the back of this uncertainty across the global markets. Mm -mm, okay, so there's no clear trade. Where does the US dollar go to from here? I mean, obviously, the main concern at the moment when it comes to uh, uh, what we're seeing in the currency markets is these fears that we are going to have a trade war. And if you look at the rhetoric that's happening between the US and China, it does look increasingly likely. Yeah, I think so. I think we're, we're sort of, we probably are in a trade war without actually recognising it at the moment. Um, and I think we are going to see short term downside for the dollar because of that. Um, I think this uncertainty is not helping the dollar. And, and the other factor I think that, that will come to fruition is that we are seeing a subtle change from Fed and the Fed members. And they are being slightly less hawkish at the moment. And I think that's going to continue to put downside to that dollar trade um, in the short term. Although I do see it coming back a little bit stronger in the medium term once we get a bit more clarity on, on what's actually going on, um, certainly with this, this trade, uh, trade aspect at the moment. So, Nick, you know, we've been uh, hearing from experts that short term, at least, in the next couple of days, I mean, earnings season stateside is set to kick off. And uh, we're looking at the strongest earnings probably in about seven years or so. That should be supportive of dollars. So should, let's say, news of repatriation on the back of tax reform. But all that is sort of backward looking, is it not? Dollars more likely than not to trade on the guidance, which could actually uh, start coming down. We've seen valuations coming down with the sell off we've seen the last couple of days, have we not? Yeah, I, th I think that's it. And there's, there's a lot of debate on how much of, of what the forward, guide, forward guidance we got from the Fed was already priced into that dollar strength. And I think we've already seen the dollar coming off a, a, a tud. A, and, and what I mean by that is that I think it's come off and, and those Fed comments have really sort of like knocked it back a bit. Um, but I do think if we see stronger data from the, from the US and, and, you know, from those earnings season, that, that we will see it turn around and maybe base not too far away from current levels. But definitely what we really need is, is, is to see a, a little bit more certainty in the market and, and that will help that dollar strength. But that's going to be more medium term.